Thank you. Thank you. What's up, y'all? I just got out of a six-year toxic relationship, and I'm feeling good. Oh, oh, I'm loving it. I'm saying phrases that I was never saying before. My friends ask me, how you doing, Max? I say, God is good all the time. Oh, and I'm an atheist, you know, so it's wild, right? And it's crazy, you know, after getting out of this six-year relationship, I said, you know, what? I want to I try something new. First person I go out on a date with was an anti-vaxxer. Mm-hmm, yeah. I know, I know some of you all are like, try something new. Maybe he means a white woman. No, I didn't want to kill my mama with that news. You know what I'm saying? So I, so I go out with this anti-vaxxer. Two weeks later, she calls me and says, hey, baby, um, I'm not feeling too well. I said, what's wrong? She said, I lost my taste and my smell. I said, well, shit, you might as well lose your eyesight because you ain't going to see me no more. <laughs> Fuck that CDC say you can't see me, all right? Shoot. I told her, you know, I suggested you should take a PCR test. She said, mm -mm, I'm not going to claim that. You can't put COVID on me. I'm not going to claim COVID. I said, you don't have to. It claimed your ass. You know what I'm saying? You the one sticking Cholula bottles up your nose. You can't smell shit. That ain't normal. That ain't normal. She has to eat my ass. I yeah. And I told her that she needs to wear a mask, you know, for her safety and for mine. You know what I'm saying? You know? Chicago is wild, isn't it? Chicago is wild. Chicago's the only city in America where you can get shot in a drive-by on the expressway. Isn't that wild? Now I was just reading the other day in New Orleans, they got a higher murder rate than Chicago does. And I say to myself, shit, I take getting shot in Nola any day of the week. At least while I'm dying, I can hear a jazz clarinetist. I can smell some fresh beignets being made. Ooh, and in my final moment, somebody will come over to me and whisper their grandma's secret recipe to jambalaya. Ooh, because I got to take that shit to my grave. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, New York is wild, too. I was just in New York the, uh, last month, and it's, it's crazy because the rats run New York. Oh, yeah, the rats run New York. I saw a rat dragging a slice of pizza down the street. I saw a rat wearing a Mets jersey. A rat walked past me on the street wearing a K95 mask, bumping Pop Smoke. Looked me up and down and said, never forget, brother, never forget. I got loose squares for sale, two for $1.75 for shorts. Uh, it was wild. Did you all see that even during the flood, rats were backstroking in the sewer water. They were like, ain't shit but a Saturday night, Curtis. Ain't shit but a Saturday night. It's wild. It's wild. It's interesting, you know, being in 2021, I'm noticing from coming out of 2020, everybody's looking for some kind of progressive leader. And for white women, I don't know what it is. I'm their guy. I don't know what it is. I'm their Jesse Jackson. I don't get it either. They always want to come up to me and tell me how, you know, all their experiences at the marches last year. Like, oh, Max, I never marched so much in my life. Oh, I worn my kids down to the soul. Oh, you want to see them? They're in tathers. I'll be your human shield any day of the week. <laughs> oh, I love when white folks would be in our human shields at the protest. Y'all remember that shit? Oh, that was great. And I said to myself, you know, being a black American, uh, this human shield shit's probably gonna last 24 hours. So I said, carpe diem. I started throwing Tucker right in the office of O'Malley. Take that ass whooping I've been getting for 28 years. I swear, it was wild. I mean, like, I could even be walking near a march and people try to recruit me. They like, look at that boy right there. He got good Molotov cocktail building hands on him. Mm -hmm. He look like a race riot gonna start in with his ass. He look like he gonna do the right thing, throw a trash can through a pizzeria window. Oh yeah, I like him. Put him to the front of the line. I could be walking downtown right now. White women will just start marching behind me. Black Lives Matter. Abigail, follow him. He's gonna be our chant leader. I'm like, Abigail, I'm in a Chick-fil-A. I came in for the homophobic nuggets. Get to the back of the line, Abigail. What is wrong with you? You know, even when older black people see me, they get so excited because I look like a tomorrow child. You know what I mean? Like I could look like I could reverse gentrify this neighborhood. You know what I mean? Like every store will be named Purple Rain when I'm done with it. That's what the fuck I look like. You know what I mean? You know, and like older black people, they see me like I was in a Starbucks yesterday. Older black man saw me. He said, look at you, brother, with your woke ass. 
coming up in here looking like Prince's Purple Rain dealer. I love it. Oh, smelling like patchouli oil. Ooh. My boss told me I can't wear my Black Lives Matter ring. I can't wear my Black Lives Matter ring. I'm ready to burn this motherfucker to the ground. I said, hold up, brother. Um, we can have a peaceful protest. Um, can I get a chai latte? Oh, sure, brother, sure. I know you want that with oat milk. I know you can't stand that colonizer's whole milk. There you go, brother. Wakanda forever, brother. Wakanda forever. That's where they love me. That's just why I hate going to music festivals. People expect too much out of me at music festivals. They expect I'm either there to perform or I'm there to sell cocaine. And to me, I don't see the sell cocaine. You know what I mean? Like, I look like I sell sage wholesale. That's probably as far as I'll go. Like, I make my own shea butter whipped in my bathtub. You know what I mean? That's what I look like, you know? And it's always like some translucent Macaulay Culkin motherfucker that walks up to me. You know? Wants to be down, you know? Hey, yo, my brother. Hey, if one more label try to stop me, there's going to be some dreadhead nigga. Oh! Uh -uh, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Don't call Jesse Jackson on me. I didn't say it, all right? Listen, I love you. Black Lives Matter, all right? Listen, my man Charlie over there told me you got a little, uh, uh, uh thunder. A little booger sugar, a little nose candy. No, man, I'm not selling anything. Come on, man. Look at you. Now look at me. Now look at you. Now look at me. Now look back at you. I know you're selling something, man. Come on, come on. You got some sassafras on you? Sassafras? What the fuck am I, Dr. Seuss? No, I ain't selling no sassafras. You know, and I get upset. I say, listen, man. I own all eight seasons of Roseanne on DVD. Okay? Darlene is my favorite character. Okay? Fuck you, me. Shawshank Redemption is the only film where I root for a white man to get out of prison, and it's my favorite film. And I'm allergic to dairy, man. I don't know anybody that's allergic to dairy that sells hard drugs. And they always say the same thing. Oh, man, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to racially profile you like that. Enjoy the concert. But I got to tell you, man, you were amazing on stage five minutes ago. Motherfucker, that was Lenny Kravitz. That wasn't me. That was Lenny Kravitz. It's wild as hell being allergic to dairy and being black. It's kind of dangerous. My doctor told me that I need to list all my allergies on my driver's license just in case of emergency situation. I said, fuck that shit. I ain't trying to have the police pull me over and over they can kill me with yogurt. You know what I'm saying? We got him, Johnson. Pour some yogurt play over his body. I ain't trying to weaponize these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's wild. It really is wild being allergic to dairy. And you know, I love that Chobani oat. Has anybody up in here tried Chobani oat milk? That's the shit, right? Woo! When I go into Jewel Osco, I feel like a Street of Ville white woman. I feel like my stock is risen. Once I touch the carton, I feel like I could call the police on white people. You know what I mean? Oh, it's a new day. I crack it open in the store and drink it. Like, Oh, Chobani, old, oh, incredible. You know, and I was thinking about it the other day, like my parents are baby boomers, you know what I mean? Like my parents had to have iron stomachs. They didn't have no damn choices growing up in the 50s and 60s. Like my dad grew up so poor to the point where he didn't know that chili had meat in it until he's 25 years old. It means his brother was a vegetarian for a quarter of his life due to his circumstances. And I'm over here like, do you have any Chobani oat? Do you have any Chobani oat? You know? Like all of us with our allergies, like round of applause, how many people in here has allergies? Come on, right? We all have allergies. We couldn't have lived like 50, 60 years in the past. Couldn't live no Jim Crow time. We're too soft, you know what I'm saying? Like if the Klan picked me up, my hands are tied behind my back. Most people are thinking about death. I'm over here thinking about my allergy. Uh, Jethro, um, I'm sorry to bother you, but um, what's that rope made out of? Because not everything could touch my neck. I'm sorry, not everything could touch my neck, sir. Do you have any, like, silk, some sateen, maybe some crushed velvet? Do you have any Chobani oat? I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're in this killing thing, but you got any Chobani oat? Thank you all, Max Thomas.